take two. Yeah, my name is Ron Anderson. I live in Sonora, California, and this is a 1976 model uh, International Scout that was raced by Jimmy Jones. And I was at the hardware store in Angel's Camp, oh, it was a few years ago, either 14 or 15, uh, in a 77 orange SS2. And I ran into a guy named Dick Sasser. He came and stopped in the parking lot and wanted to talk. He said he used to race one of these, only uh, the one he had had a little more cage than the one I was running. So the next thing you know, we drive up to his shop and he's got this thing sitting behind a, another uh, off-road race rig of his. And my first thought when I saw this thing was it belonged in a museum, but we had no idea what the history of this scout was. And uh, me and my wife, we ended up purchasing the scout and she's on Facebook. And, I'm not, but she gets on Facebook, and the next thing I know, I've got an email from uh, Jim Allen, who's about ready to uh, write the International Scout Encyclopedia with John Glancy, and he uh, he asked me what the VIN numbers and stuff were on the truck, and wanted some pictures, and he was in contact with Lance Jones, Jimmy Jones' son, and the next thing we know, we start running uh, pictures back and forth, comparing the cages, uh, comparing the VIN numbers and stuff. And so this is uh, the International Scout that Jimmy Jones first raced for International Harvester. He was the uh, first man to uh, race an International Scout uh, for uh, International Harvester, the first of the race team racers. They picked him because he had already won the Baja 1000 utility class with a uh, two-wheel drive Scout II way back in 1972. It had some success after that. Apparently it caught the attention of International Harvester. So. They offered a scout to him and uh, several other guys, but originally this scout was uh, built on uh, December 18th, 1975. I believe it was delivered to Chandler, Arizona. Uh, Frank Howarth did most of the fabrication on this thing early. In fact, Frank Howarth was co-driver with Jimmy Jones when they first started racing this truck. They started racing it in 1976, the first big race it was in. It still had a windshield frame and hard doors. Uh, they didn't have the SS2 parts yet, and uh, it was the uh, 76 Mint 400 big race. Not sure how they placed. But uh, after that, um, International Harvester came out with the uh, prototype SS2 door inserts, as well as the SS2 grill. They brought this Scout out Again, it was still orange at the time from International Harvester. And uh, they ran this thing looking as an SS2 as early as the uh, Baja 500 1976, and it looked like uh, an SS2 ever since. In 77, they uh, changed the paint on the Scout despite having some orange paint still coming through on the tub. They painted this one white. It had the SS2 plaques put onto it and uh, it was in full SS2 decorum. Uh, like I said, they'd run a bunch of suspension and modifications and stuff. You can see in old pictures that changed over the years. They raced it in pretty much every desert race there was out there that I could find. Uh, from the Baja to the Mexicali to the Parker 400, they raced the Coors races back in Colorado. Uh, eventually, Jimmy Jones, he raced this one last in 1979 and this was purchased in uh, later 79 by the uh, Sherman Balsh's co-driver, Russ Kirkpatrick. Russ Kirkpatrick was uh, the owner of Bayshore International at the time and sponsored uh, Sherman Balsh. And uh, like I say, he co-drove with Sherman Balsh in Sherman's first race rig. And then he continued to race this one at least into 1981. First big race that uh, Russ Kirkpatrick raced this in. And Russ actually was the fifth factory sponsored racer since uh, he had direct sponsorship through Bayshore International. But he, uh, he raced this, he got a third place in the Baja 1000 in 1979. Looks like Jimmy's last race was the uh, Mint 400 1979, so kind of a switch there. Not sure exactly what the dates were, but uh, anyway, last big race that Russ probably raced this in was in Vora competition in Nevada. It won the uh, Virginia City 250 in Nevada. and. Uh, after that, the International Harvester uh, sponsorship ended, the race program pretty much disbanded. This truck was parked for a couple of years, and in 1985, 86, Dick Sasser purchased this uh, vehicle directly from uh, Russ Kirkpatrick. Dick Sasser had a trucking business not too far from the Bayshore International down in uh, San Mateo, California. 
he picked this rig up in the earliest races that I can find him running it in is the Baja uh, 1000 in 1986. Him, uh, Gene Curry will campaign this thing into uh, 1997. The last race that they, Baja 1000, that they, uh, they finished this thing in, I believe it took third place in the Baja 1000. Uh, the last race was 97. I think they ended up with third place. There's only three, class three rigs left and this was one of them, which kind of a testament to the durability, 21 years in the desert. And uh, it was class three champion under Sasser last in 1994. Man, that's quite a history. We thank you. You can catch this on BinderTV.com or BinderTV's Facebook. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, guys.